my life story. Okay, so just responding to a couple of things that have come up in chat. Uh, uh, Shadow XVIII asks, so Victoria is on Vancouver Island, but not Vancouver. That's correct. Correct. Uh, that causes a lot of problems when people come here. Uh, going to a, working at a university with international students, uh, people who think Vancouver Island is like Toronto Island, where yeah. it's like an island in the city, and they think they're moving to Vancouver, and they're all excited because they're going to Vancouver, and then they like go to Vancouver, and they're like, where's Vancouver Island? And they're like, it's a ferry. <laughs> it's yeah. an hour and a half over there yeah. in this tiny little town. Yeah. Four minutes yeah. remain to win your copy of Battle Cry from Avalon Hill. Check uh, out. One other thing I wanted to respond to in chat yeah, is uh, somebody saying, sounds like every Canadian is from Calgary. And so <laughs> on the one hand, Canada only has like six big cities, one of which is Calgary. Yeah. Um, so and so statistically speaking, it, you've got a pretty good chance. But also for obvious reasons, People move out of Calgary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Where did this person find this picture of don't, from the film festival? Honestly, Google. Don't probably. ask. Yeah. yeah, because we don't know. That is has a great photo. I haven't seen that photo in years. Hello. Yeah, I, it's true. Like, lots of people. Come here. Uh, like Come here. people from Toronto or people Come from Calgary. It's just because Whoops. those are huge cities that people move out of. Yeah. Oh, in Nanaimo, actually, I see. Sorry, I mean, from in Victoria too. Myself. I meet so many people uh, from Prince George. Yeah. And Powell River. Yeah. And it's like I know so many people that used to live in Prince George and Powell River. <laughs> well, it's like everybody in Canada moves west. Yeah. And if you're in Prince George or Powell River, there's only so much wester you can go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that you can move to the island and you get basically no snow. The only like... As a Calgary resident, that's not even a hot take, says, <laughs> says Fuma Kotaro. It, uh, Calgary, I think, is the only major metropolis in North America that has uh, recorded snow on every... Every week of the year, in his, like in 52 weeks of the year, I think historically there has been a snowfall in that week. I know, yeah. for, I know it's for sure true for months, but I think it actually might be for weeks as well. You can get snow that in sucks. August and July, but you can also get you know 40 degrees Celsius weather in the summer sometimes in Calgary as well. Like I remember stampede weather, and it's like they have the they have the the rodeo clowns running around in stampede with like a big like giant mechanical thermometer as they're showing it off to the crowd and like the chuck wagon races and it's like it's 44 degrees celsius Ooh. sometimes and it's just like that's just inhumane to everyone involved in this the clowns the people viewing the event and all of the animals like stop doing <laughs> chuck wagon races when it's that hot yeah so for the americans among us uh, it's like over 100. Right? Yeah, well, 100 degrees comes out to be like 38, 39 yeah. degrees celsius and then you can sort of shorthand it to be too two, damn hot. To two degrees Fahrenheit per degree Celsius, or yeah. two and a half ish. So 44 is like 108, 109. Yeah. I mean, I grew up somewhere where it would get that hot in the summers, but like we never had snow. Yeah. There's just no precipitation there. That's part of why it can get that hot. The other like crazy thing about Calgary is you can have th those type of days right side by side too. Like, uh, I remember um, one winter, we had uh, like this terrible huge snowstorm, and they closed the high school as an elementary school for the rest of the week. Like, it was Thursday, and it was like this storm was predicted to last, and so they're, they closed it for the Friday. And then all of a sudden, a Chinook happened, which for those that are familiar, it's this warm wind that comes up, and it was like beautiful 25 degree weather from like a huge awful snowstorm that closed Calgary down, which is hard to close Calgary down from snow because they're used to it. Mm -hmm. And it was just like everyone's out playing in the sun and all the snow's melting and it was beautiful. And it's like those days were right beside each other. It's it's such a bizarre place to live. Uh, one other thing to respond to in chat all right. um, was somebody who's saying, oh, I didn't realize that Vancouver is such a small city. That is um, so... Because what? it is... Well, yeah, so that's yeah. why I want to respond to it. Vancouver. But first of all, because uh, they were they were like it's o it's only about a fourth the size of my city, and I don't live in a particularly big American city. So Vancouver, the city of Vancouver, has a population of I don't know six hundred six hundred fifty thousand uh, people, something like that, um, and is geographically quite small. Um, but Vancouver is 
a little weird in that it is broken up into like the area of Vancouver, Metro Vancouver is broken up into like 10 or 12 different suburbs that are each administrated separately. Have their own mayors. Um, yeah. So Vancou like Metro Vancouver is like Vancouver and Burnaby and Richmond and Surrey and North Vancouver and West Vancouver and Delta and Langley and Coquitlam and Port Coquitlam. And when you add up the, the population of all those cities, you end up with a population of Metro Vancouver that I think is something like 2.2 million people. Um, Which is also sounds small to a large American cities, but uh, Canadian cities are way smaller. Yes. Um, but it, it like Vancouver on its own, or Vancouver, Vancouver and Victoria account for two thirds of the total population of BC. Yeah. Uh, in and of themselves. Yeah, like if you like, it's weird too. Like the city of Victoria proper is smaller than the city of Nanaimo. Yeah. The Greater Victoria is way bigger. Yeah. Oscar yeah. Burnaby, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the, the 